Lilac, you know. Uh, talk to God about lilacs. Oh, and I noticed on tomorrow's rundown that Elizabeth Banks is my first guest. Yes. Loser. Oh, wait, Piggy. Who replaced my thick sharpies with fine tip sharpies? I'm signing autographs, not writing the Bible on a grain of rice. Uh, I have a feeling this isn't about pen thickness. Oh, I was fitting Piggy for a new dress. Oh, no, no, you forgot to cut out the tag. She knows her size? No, oh, please. I've woven such a cocoon of lies. She doesn't know her size. Wait. Or even how old she is. And she doesn't have a date. Shocking. She seems like such pleasant company. <laughs> Try to calm me down with cake. Give me that cake! So, Josh was over last night, and we were cuddled up on the couch. Anyway, he has some ideas. That man is more than just a musician. Mm. <laughs> Way more. Man, he's also a producer. And he's smarter, more sophisticated way. Hmm? Like, I could interview authors. Piggy, I suggest... I'm halfway through. That oh, good. I don't have to finish it. Look, oh, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Josh and I were thinking, and I agree with us, that it would be divine if the band went acoustic. I know, but our audience needs a gentler, more tranquil vibe at night. A warm glass of milk. What? We... Uh, a loose thread. If you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. reasons you'll never understand. We can no longer hang out. Exactly. Unfortunately, our friendship will have to be conducted from a respectable distance. I will be there having a wonderful time without you. You're welcome. Steady as she goes. Oh, oh, now it's stuck on your... Ah, oh, well done. She's just uh, getting you... out of her Spanx. Oh, extra tight for each. Oh. oh, here you go. Mm. Oh, you've worked very hard tonight. Bravo. Oh. Woo! Uh, listen. I think this is the first time I've seen you since the breakup. Don't I look great? I've never felt better. I should have ended things with Kermit years ago. And I saw you on Broadway. How much of that was real? Ha! Person Quit I spartering and martyring and stammering and boring me. Just spit it out, Frog. Kermit. You seem to be under the false impression that I want to be in this room. Hmm? You don't know me. No one does. So, what can Wa do for Vu? Piggy, are you okay? This is my oh. worst nightmare, Kermit. Oh. Everybody's oh. staring at my legs. Oh. The one day I skip my calf raises and this happens. Don't worry, Piggy. I'll be right back with some emergency jeggings. Mm. There are no jeggings. Mm -hmm. Hope ah. is what she needs now. Okay. Why me? Why me? I know, I don't know. Just <laughs> keep your eyes on me, dear. Keep your eyes up here. No, no. No, no. No. Easy. Condensation from the broken AC. Drenched and destroyed Piggy's new winter collection. This is on your head, boy. They're all ruined. Except this blue shrug she's wearing now. Which, between you and me, makes her look a little sausagey. Oh, 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 well, what if we hang them in the sun? Or steam them? I hear there's a dry cleaner in science. Hey, look at me, Piggy. They're gone. No. Hmm? Whatever it is, no. She's in the middle of a beauty treatment, which ironically is not pretty. <sighs> I was wrong. That's the worst. I told you, Kermit. <clears throat> Dolph. Just a little tune-up for the shoot of my new Piggy Water label. I look fabulous flat, but when you bend me around a bottle, everything spreads. Hmm. Ah! Oh my god. It's called nasal electrocontouring. It shocks the muscles so those hooligans learn to behave. Biggie? She's entered what we call the glamour coma. Mm -hmm. Draw the agreement. I'll put a pen in her lifeless hand and we'll get to lunch at a decent hour. Good plan. Hmm. Well... The sweater is definitely ugly, hmm. but is it ugly enough to wear to George Clooney's ugly Christmas sweater party? <gasps> Trust me, Piggly. I'll make it ugly enough to wear to the party, but apparently not ugly enough to be your plus one. Ugh, women. Ugh, men. Why don't you just talk to him? You're his best friend. Yeah. Oh, you should try it. It's a real hoot, mm. especially when you have to see that person's green face every day at work. Mm. She's talking about you. But in the spirit of Christmas, I 
shall help yet another poor soul with my heart one wisdom. Send Fozzie to me. Really? Aw, oh, thanks, Piggy. <gasps> Scooter! Hmm? Your sweater's hideous! I must have it. But must Take it off. And from one broken heart to another, I know exactly what you need. No. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. There was only one thing that made me feel better. No. Will you stop with the hugs already? Out. Stuff. Deadly? Ah. Ta. Ta. Guaranteed to lift your spirits. Here, have a cheese basket or a cashmere blanket or deadly. What else can he go home with? This deluxe cordless neck massager from Dream Rub. How do you feel now? Oh, come on, Fozzie. Couples break up and get back together all the time. Heather, I'm sure you fought for him. Oh, a can of worms, Fozzie. Can of worms. It was a complicated situation. Mm -hmm. You know, regarding my career yes. and celebrity Indeed. and where I am. Can open worms everywhere. Alone in a house in Aspen oh. with my own show. You're Did the best. Oh, Dudley. I didn't fight for Kermit. Was I too proud? And now it's too late, and he's moved on, and now I am alone at Christmas. Cheese. Yeah. Here you go. You know, the only hard part of the holidays... Piggy, did you leave any ponchos in Argentina? Uh, uh, that one reeks of goat. Lavanderia! Hmm? That means laundromat. Arr! Steadily, hmm. how could one trip change me so completely? Hmm. I am totally over Kermit, just hmm. done! Hmm. Hmm. Oh, arr, arr, oh, arr, arr, God, arr, woman, arr, what have you done? I saved a penguino! Oh. He was homeless, Deadly, mm. living on that frozen beach. He didn't have a coat, he didn't have a hat. But he does have a poncho, I see. Mm. His name is Gloria Estefan. Mm. It was the only Spanish name I could think of in the momento. <sighs> uh, no. Spanish nachos, mi pequeña rana. What? She thinks she can speak Spanish now. Huh? It's a nightmare. A nightmare. <sighs> Ooh. Why is it so cold in here? Mmm, Gloria Stefan needs it cold or she gets lethargic. Where? Mm, Copy done. I think we'd all like to see more of you and the rest of you, too. If I knew your names, I'd praise you all individually. But since I don't... Cheers, Vaughn! Pablo's not a name. <laughs> Did I... F <sighs> These showbiz events are exhausting. Yeah. I'm gonna need a vacation just to sort through my swag bags. Hold oh, still, Piggy. This is my design's red carpet debut, and I'm not happy with the drape of the neckline. Hmm? Oh, wait. That's not my neckline. That's your neck. Don't even! My hmm? entire body's in pain, okay? My hmm? prep began weeks ago with head-to-toe chemical peels, yes. eyebrow freezing, and waterboarding. Hmm. Yes, Goop recommended it. I tell my waterboardist everything. Hmm. Okay, Piggy, time to walk the carpet. Get the app. When asked who you're wearing, it's Uncle. But deadly. Oh, oh, right. And do not forget to show off the back with a turn, a peek, and a pop. Mm -hmm. oh. <sighs> yeah, yes, yeah. do not forget, Piggy. Turn, peek, pop. And pop. Turn, yeah, we got peak, it. Pop. Turn, peek, pop. <laughs> Uncle by deadly. Even a skinny Kimmel couldn't fall off that dress. True. Pop! <laughs> She's popped out. Uh, too oh, much no. pop! Uh, oh, the tail is out! Oh, no. <laughs> She's wearing Vera Wang! I think I'm going to need oh, readers. Deadly! Hmm? I am humiliated! It's chaos out there. My house is surrounded with their cameras <laughs> and their questions yeah. and their tiny acorns. Tiny acorns? There were a lot of squirrels in my yard this morning, too. Piggy, I am so sorry that my dress was a part of this. But you shouldn't be humiliated. What the world saw was perfectly natural. And disgusting, <sighs> according to that one reporter... There's so much prejudice against a curly tail just to survive in show business. I continually have to downplay the fact that I'm... 
A pig? You are aware your name is Miss Piggy. So? Letterman doesn't work at the post office. What are you doing here? Go away! What? <laughs> What's that? Oh, she snorted. Leave her alone, you animals! I just snorted. Why did I do that? I'm a lady, not a pig. Well, let's look at the positive, shall we? At least it wasn't an oink. Why do we need to hide it? What are we afraid of? To unveil the tail. Unveil? All will be unveiled because... It's time. Perfect! Hmm? Yeah, yeah, I was hoping you'd say... Well, I got so many things to do mm. and so many people. Yes, okay. Beyonce's in town. Beyonce? Oh, yes! Beyonce's in, She's in town! town. Oh, I'll go call... Beyonce yes, right we're calling now. Beyonce. Yeah. Okay. Close yeah. personal friends. Yes, they grew up Got together. Her on speed dial. That's right, she's on the speed dial. So... You really wanted to get Beyonce on the phone? No, she's got like seven managers and two agents you have to call first. Yeah. It's not like a corn maze made of dull people. Yeah, well, then how about you try one of your less famous friends? Oh, like that one girl. I basically grew up in her house. She was like hmm. a sister to me. Give hmm. me her appendix. What was her name? Oh, well, if you don't remember, then appendix girl is not your friend. Uh, well, what about that girl from the spa? Slap fight. Jennifer. Suda for libel. Racist girl. Made fun of her braces. <laughs> they were funny. Yes. Deadly? Yes, dear. Is what you're telling me that I have no friends? A large part of my days are spent trying not to answer questions in ways that will make Piggy look too deeply into the abyss of her own loneliness. I usually bring up snacks. <sighs> have you tried the new chocolate pretzels? No, I haven't. So excited to uh, grab a couple of bags and meet me in my dressing room. <laughs> Today, we find me a friend! Ah, huzzah! There goes bridge night with the Wellingtons. How do I make a regular best friend by three o'clock? My days are too free, Deadly. Well, I'm directing an adaptation of Clueless at a black box theater in Reseda. It's very edgy. We reversed the genders on all the roles, which was a disaster when we did Knocked Up. But this one's pretty good. Our turnout's been... Low. So if you wanted... Anyway, as I was saying, I hmm. need to find a friend. Mm, yes, yeah, sweetheart. It is Tuesday. Oh, wow, then we're late. Woo! Oh, all right. <sighs> well, wow. it looks like our afternoon's free. Deadly! <laughs> Come on, we're going to be late! Scratch that. It's so... All right, Piggy, let's go to the silk now. Can I go to the yeah. silk? Yeah. <laughs> Mm, there you go. Stick that chin up and out like a proud turtle out of a shell. <clears throat> you are not turtling, Piggy. What? You must turtle. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, all right, bestie. We're obviously partners. Then who else wants to be my partner slash bestie, huh? 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 Your show is calling. What's that? You need Miss Piggy to come back because she's indispensable? But this is her personal time. What is your name? Jeremy what? Mm, well, Jeremy Rosenstein, you've made a very powerful enemy. What's that? Fisticuffs. Come on. That's, that's enough. Come on. Come on. Yes. Well. Piggy. Piggy, what's wrong? I haven't seen you hold a frown on your face this long since that black market restaurant paralyzed your snout. <laughs> Deadly. Am I that hard to like? Well, Piggy, you are not easy. But any friend worth having would never want you to be. They would want you to be you. Oh, Deadly. And, well, perhaps you already have that friend that you're looking for. Someone who is always there, looking out for you, because he accepts you just as you are. Huh? Someone standing right in front of you. Uh. I am just totally alone. Piggy. And we're back the stage. in three. The stage. Piggy. Piggy. Eyes on the guest. Accepting me the way I am. I had a realization.
organization. <laughs> Can't believe it never even occurred to Deadly that he's been my one true friend all along. Did he not notice that he's been there for me the whole time? I mean, what, is he drunk? Sit. <clears throat> Turtle. <clears throat> we have a way normal life for a teenage girl. I mean, I get up, I brush my teeth, and I pick... Do you mind? Dion is about to avoid a very serious car accident, so pay attention. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry. <laughs> so anyway, I was totally bummed. Come along now, Piggy. What? The hospital's not so bad. Yeah. They have those fun, kitschy vending machines, and I'll bet they have Bugles corn chips. Oh, like I don't have some of those in my purse. Yeah. Oh, hey. oh, oh, oh. I have her cornered. Somebody bring a butterfly net. Yeah. She's going to get you over here. Yeah. You'll be fine. Ooh. You'll be fine. Piggy. Look, and Ma's cookies. Oh, you like those. I hate everything right now. Oh, oh, there let me just go. go get some change out of the car. Be right but, back. No, 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 no. No, before Pache brings in that DJ to guest host. Guest host? Ah, no! Deadly. Well, you didn't tell her. No, I didn't tell what her. What is your job anyway, Frog? <laughs> Senior VP of avoiding and omitting? Lies are toxic, Kermit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I live a 100% transparent. Life. No, Piggy. No, Piggy. 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 No, Piggy. No, Piggy. No, Piggy. 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 These are the extra long ones, right? Yes, dear. Okay. Tonight is going to be a very special show. Okay, Piggy, time to go. By the way, when you were having your surgery, you didn't happen to add a little, uh, long? What? No! Absolutely not! Mm. Hey, look at this weird text I got from Kermit. Mm. It's a kissy face emoji. What's that about? Oh, oh, you don't know. You know what? Well, a couple of things happened when you were on the pain meds. Um, mm -hmm. One, you called your night nurse Bucktooth Joe. He did not like it. Oh, no. Was his name not Joe? I'm the worst with names. And two, you and Kermit exchanged I love yous. Shut up. Wait, who said it first? You did. No! But he said it twice. Yes, Kermit loves me, and we're getting back together. Whoa, 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 wait a moment. He hurt you so terribly. Are you certain you want to try again just because of an I love you under anesthesia and a kissy text? You're right. Mm. You're right. Kermit has to show me that things will be different this time. But as long as he makes a big grand gesture today, yes, of course I want to try again. I love him deadly. Well, all right then. Now, what are you going to wear for the most romantic day of your life? Something pink and sheer. Maybe floral. Hmm, such as? What if I'd said black sequins? Mm, please. Where are you? Piggy, Where on earth is Kermit? I texted him a kissy face back. Plus a frog, plus a pig, plus a diamond. <laughs> But the nothing. Do you think he's waffling? Not that kind of waffle shell. But yes, of course. Don't worry, Piggy. Apparently, there's a grand gesture to fall. Really? Mm. That's my favorite kind of gesture. Uh, Gloria, Foo Foo, you're about to get a daddy. For what? The Rose Parade? This must all be part of the grand gesture of love. Change his mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Piggy, you know, claim it. You were sure. Never? <laughs> Not now, Chef. Are you telling me... Well, leave the waffle. Leave the waffle. Are you telling me Kermit still isn't sure? I'm a coin flip? That's it. It's not going to be any different this time. Deadly. Yes, dear. 
Buy me a ticket to Thailand, leaving tonight. I'd rather spend this break on an elephant than anywhere near that frog. Don't bother, Kermit. I am done. But boy, did you blow it. But 